First of all, my name is Archbishop Martin Kivuva Musonde. I'm the Archbishop of Mombasa. And the Archdiocese of Mombasa Metropolitan encompasses uh, the Diocese of Malindi, the Diocese of Garissa, and Mombasa itself. Um, as I arrived in February, it was a very awkward moment because it was height of lots of conflicts. Insecurity was high. And one of the things we discussed, and many a times we discussed, was about how do we um, take the advantage of the coming of the Holy Father to bring about peace, to bring about a mutual coexistence. And we came up with the thought of the peace caravan. The peace caravan is envisaged to have three components. The first component is uh, young people from the Archdiocese of Mombasa all the way coming to, to Nairobi to meet the Holy Father, but with messages that are uh, peace, uh, Pope Francis for peace. Pope Francis, we love you. Welcome to Kenya. You are a peaceful individual. We want Kenya to be a peaceful country, peaceful coexistence, irrespective of tribe, religion, or ethnic backgrounds. Because the coast has had quite a bit conflicts between Christians and Muslims. Not exactly Christians and Muslims, but in this area whereby certain individuals have been radicalized to a point where um, peace was an issue. So the issue is to have, we are planning to have, uh, we already did a press test by the pilgrimage to Subukia. We mobilized uh, our deaneries to bring up one bus or two. We had about 10 buses going to the pilgrimage in Subukia. And we took that model as a working model where we intend to have every deanery, we have eight deaneries, have a bus for young people and these young people are going to be a mixed lot in terms of Catholics, Christians and even sometimes Muslims, those who are willing to come and meet the Holy Father. Um, with them we start uh, on the 24th, we have uh, an interfaith uh, initiative where we are inviting the Christians and non-Christians, we say the prayer to kick off or to, to, to flag off the um, the peace caravan. What do they do? We have prayer, we'll have mass for the Catholics in the early morning. In the afternoon before they begin to start off, we will have an interfaith prayer meeting where we are inv inviting the CICC. These are the coast interfaith clerics, which are a mixed group. And they will pray about the country, pray about the Holy Father, pray about mutual coexistence. Then we'll start off very early in the morning on the same day towards Voi. In Voi we stop, we receive other young people coming from parts of Taita and also a good mix, students from uh, Buddha teacher training colleges, students from the parishes and we congregate. We stop for a while and they have prepared uh, already uh, dramas, kids that are talking about peace. Um, uh, from there on we'll move on towards uh, Nairobi and possibly stop in somewhere in Machakos. We have not identified the place as yet and be received. We, on our way we'll stop also in mosques, uh, Catholic places, uh, non-Catholic places to receive or give messages of peace. Um, at the end of the day they arrive to be at the Mass on the 25th or to, to, be, to be in Nairobi on the 25th in the evening and available to be at the Mass on the 26th. After which the Pope, uh, they will also go to meet the Pope in Kasarani to create this impact. We hope to have um, posters, we hope to have uh, uh, flags, we hope to have messages that are peace uh, for the whole country. Why are we doing things? We are doing this because we realize the young people are the most one used, uh, many times are used. So we want to, after that, go to the next level of engagement where we identify young people who are maybe sitting at home and have qualifications and have need a skill and help them to go back to school. We want to find young people who have given up and are seated and say, look, young people now, uh, let's get you guys back to class and run some skills, painting, uh, sewing, 
Uh, we want to use the, our tertiary institutions, teacher training college. And for your information, I already began. This year alone, uh, through going through the parishes, I've talked about it. I've talked about the young people coming back to school. And uh, we've mobilized right now, I have 297 when I went to a college in Bura who have just reported. And they are reported because they have this now new understanding that the church is interested in them. We must, for some reason, create young people who feel the church is for us, the church is with us, the church understands us, and the church is working with us. As we meet the Holy Father, the message you want to tell the Holy Father is that um, he's out to reach out to the poor and the needy. The youngest people in our country, they are radicalized because many of them have no, lost hope. And we are saying to them, young guys, do not hang around dangerously. They are hanging around dangerously because anyone can buy them as gangs, can buy them as uh, drug peddlers, can gang them as uh, sex workers, whatever, can, can buy them as uh, radical individuals taken to other places and used. We're saying we're identifying our young people who possibly, if not helped, are hanging around dangerously waiting for the highest bidder. Whoever wants to buy me, I'm ready. But we are saying young people, no, 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 no. You are not an, just an object to be used. You are an individual with a full mind, with a good potential. Some of you want to be somebody in life. Be that person. And the Holy Father is bringing us a hope in the sense that he's ready even to go to the slums. He's ready even to go to tell us we can plant trees. He's there to show us how to use the ecology and the, the, the country's possibilities. So my prayer to you young people, don't hang around dangerously. There's ways, there are possibilities. Learn some skill, doesn't matter what. We have potentials in you, wherever you live, whatever part you live in Kenya. Do not discriminate others because they're not your tribe or they're not your religion or they're not from your village. Remember, God has made this earth for all of us. And where you find yourself, be it Mombasa, be it Garissa, be it Malindi, be it in Kisi, be it in Kisumu, be it where, let's make positive contributions to make life better for other young people. Take up charge, plant trees if you cannot plant food, where there's land. Plant, uh, go out, volunteer your skills, even to go to a school and say, look, I'm a form for liver, but I was here, I can teach mathematics. Is any Malimu I can take care of? Volunteer your time. And by the way, once you so do, you'll find people take, thinking of you positively and say, oh, the son or the daughter of so-and-so is able to do this or the other. And if a job arises any moment, you'll be the next guy to be employed, even without application. God bless Kenya. Holy Father Karibu Kenya and Holy Father Karibu Mombasa. I know you won't get there, but the prayers will reach there to all who listen to us. God bless us. And all those who are preparing, I know there's a committee preparing different things, and communities hosting and receiving pilgrims, we may call them so. We want to encourage you to be open-hearted. Receive friends, receive Kenyans, receive Christians, receive those who want to come to Kenya and say, wow, it's a wonderful country. What a beauty, different areas. There are mountains, we have them. We are seas, we have them. We have areas of cold, we have them. Cold, hot places, there are. There are shepherds, they're there, they will come. And I believe the Holy Father is coming for all of us. And I say, God bless Kenya, God bless the Holy Father. Baba, Francis, Karibu Kenya.